Assalamu alaikum beautiful people. I know most of the subscribers are waiting for 200 technical term series and I did part 11 and 200 technical term series so uh, therefore more students they were comments in comments box sir continue the 200 technical term series. So let me start part 12 in the series of 200 technical term. Let's get started. If this video is helpful for you, so you may like this video. Guys, we did in part 11 from 100 to 110. So now we will get start from 111 to 120. Okay. So let's start. If this video is helpful for you, so you may like this video. Remember guys, in term number 111, I will tell you about PCC, plain cement concrete. As I told you before in many videos, that concrete is strong in compression but it's weak in tension. So therefore, plain cement concrete is a type of concrete is used on member only or in structure only, tensile force is not acting on it. So when the tensile force acting on any structure, especially in concrete structure, so don't use PCC, plain cement concrete. Because concrete is strong in compression, but it's weak in tension. So therefore, if tensile force is acting on the member, so in that case, the PCC should not be allowed. Our PCC should not be used in that structure. Okay, so this is very important. The second one is dead load. So if someone asks from you, what is dead load? Because we have different types of loads. Uh, acting on the uh, building or any other structure for beam column slip etc so therefore remember one thing the dead load means self weight of structure self weight of beam column slip okay so what is self weight of structure the uh, total weight of beam column slip etc or footing okay so this is self weight of structure so dead load means self weight of structure very simple okay the third one is vibrating or vibration machine we are using vibrating machine and freshly made concrete is done to remove the air bubble and concrete mix as you know when you are uh, 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 actually when we are pouring concrete for slab beam column so there it occurs bubbles okay so, uh, uh, due to air okay so air bubbles to remove the air bubbles okay so that air bubbles can make the holes there pores okay so remove those air bubbles we are using vibrating in fresh concrete so therefore a vibrating uh, machine is uh, very important to use in building construction especially for concrete okay in fresh concrete we should use vibrating machine okay the one 14 term is about the weight of first class clay brick okay clay brick that is 3.85 kg it should not be less than 3.85 kg first class brick okay now the term number 115 is specific gravity what is the specific gravity of cement sand and brick okay so the cement specific gravity is 3.16 gram per centimeter cube for sand 2.65 gram per centimeter cube and for brick 2 gram per centimeter cube this is the specific gravity so anyone can ask from you especially in interview especially for specific gravity so these are the answer for those okay the term number 116 is grade of concrete is denoted if someone asks from you what is grade of concrete so grade of concrete is denoted uh, a cement sand and aggregate so when we combined cement sand and aggregate so that is called and water okay but water we uh, we can't say water here that's why because in grade of concrete we have three things cement sand and aggregate and we have different grades of concrete for different rcc structures for different member so what is grade of concrete so also we have a different uh, in different grade of concrete we have for example m5 m7.5 so m15 m10 m20 okay so we are we are using uh, 
different grades of concrete for different RCC structures. Okay, for example, M15 uh, uh, ratio is one uh, ratio 1.5 ratio 3, where one is cement and 1.5 is sand and uh, 3 is aggregate R crush. Okay, so when we combined uh, these material with each other with this ratio, so this is M20 grade concrete, where M is max stand for max and 20 is the strength of concrete after 28 days so 20 is the strength but in newton per mm square means 20 newton per mm square okay and m15 means uh, 15 newton per mm square square like 7.5 etc okay the other one is 117 about hidden beams or concealed beam is we are using uh, concealed beam or hidden beam in the slab okay so why we are using so hidden beams provide for greater span slab so when we have greater span in slab or uh, greater span uh, of slab so we should provide concealed beam okay or hidden beam hidden beam concealed beam is the same thing the part uh, the term number 118 is washroom wall or bath wall thickness should not be less than six inches that's why because inside washroom or bath we are providing the sanitary work okay because uh, uh, for water etc so therefore if the thickness of the wall is less than six inches then we are not able uh, to provide the uh, uh, plumbing work okay so therefore if the wall thickness is less less than six inches so therefore uh, you are not able uh, to use those things uh, because it can decrease and also it can make more problems it can provide cracks etc so therefore try to use uh, six inches not less than six inches but by myself i'm using nine inches that's why because it is very important during cutting uh, uh, for the piping for the plumbing pipes we are cutting the wall so therefore if this is about four inches so minimum uh, 2.5 inches we are cutting the wall for the uh, sanitary etc okay so guys uh, this is uh, uh, the part number uh, 12 in the series of 200 technical terms so hope the next video will be uploaded soon part number 13 so if this video is helpful for you so you may like this video and watch the other parts of this series the link is in the description of this video or you can see here thanks for watching see you in next video goodbye